Good morning, options traders. Steve Gans here. I wanted to add some color, if you will, to a start to finish trade that I opened over a week ago. This was an earnings calendar on NVIDIA. And what I had done, I urge you to, I'll put the link down below, uh, or at the end of this, I guess it will pop up. I'll put the link in there to when I opened this trade. But this was opened as a calendar selling a 695 put and then buying a further out 695 put, which is the one that's going to expire here tomorrow. Now, if you recall what happened with NVIDIA, NVIDIA was trading down here in the 660 range. Overnight, it gapped up to 750 and then continued to run all the way up to 825. So that particular trade actually pretty much got crushed. Uh, this particular put that was sold short got full value out of this one. However, this put also lost a massive amount of value. So last week, I shared a way that this trade could potentially be managed. And, and that's a lot of options trading is knowing and learning how to manage a trade that goes against you. So what was my game plan for that? Well, again, that video you can go back and watch. Uh, that was done last week. But my game plan was essentially, after this huge run-up, was going to be to sell a call spread against it and sell a new put spread under it. So let me show you that particular trade and where that ended up. So it ended up looking like this. This is a Condor. Let me just kind of shrink that down a little bit. And so what I did is I came in, I sold a 770 put against this long put. Now these are all dated 3-1, you'll notice. These all have the same expiration now. So we're no longer in a time spread. It's no longer a calendar type of trade. When I did that, I was taking on a significant risk to the downside by selling this put. I had this entire range here, 15 points of, well now more than, way more than that, of, of potential risk. So a lot of downside risk in this trade. So I had to be fairly comfortable that NVIDIA would in fact hold up, and I was. I was pretty comfortable that NVIDIA would hold up above the 770 range. Because again, at the time I put this on, this thing was trading almost up around 815, 820. In addition, I sold this spread. I sold a call spread because my expectation when NVIDIA popped all the way up into this range was that it was not probably going to go much beyond this 820 area. It started to uh, stall a little there and pull back, which kind of was a signal to me that that may have been the top. But I also didn't want to take much risk if that was not the top. If it blew out past 820, I didn't want a whole lot of risk in there. So this spread is much tighter. You notice this spread is only 10 points wide. Now, NVIDIA has worked out basically chopping back and forth between the 820 and 770 range, just kind of chopping back and forth in this range. So right now, this trade that would have been down at this point uh, would have been down $374 if I did not know how to manage it or have a plan for managing it. And instead, this trade is currently up $510. Now, I can close this out here today, locking that in, or I can let this play out till the end of the day tomorrow and expire, at which time it will generate about $678 in profit. Now, I'm going to actually personally be traveling tomorrow, so if I head this trade on and I do in fact have a version of this trade on, I will probably just close it out here today so that I know it's off my plate. But if I was going to be here tomorrow, I would probably just go ahead and let this expire. And the only reason I say that, if I was going to be here tomorrow and something erratic happened one direction or the other, maybe I could use uh, some trading skills to put in a further adjustment. Maybe not, not sure on that one. But I just want to share with people more so than when I take this off, it's more all about the, the thought process that went into creating this adjustment 
of, again, initially it was just this trade, which is here. This trade went hugely against me. Again, I got full value out of this short put, but this short put lost more value than I gained in this one, which is, of course, what put me in this trouble right here. But because I kind of knew how to come in and adjust that trade, and I had a week left on the trade, it allowed me to do this move right here and, again, turn what would have been about a $400 loser into a five or $600 profit. So I hope this little trip and another start to finish, hope you find that of value. Please give me some comments if you do and if you like to see more of this sort of stuff. Thank you so much, everyone. And next week, I am going to be out. However, I've done a series of four uh, different, what I'll call back to basics, where I dive into the Greeks of the four major Greeks, of course, that any options trader should know and understand. And I use option strat to kind of go in and show you how those different Greeks move. Many people don't know, but you can come down here and you can model out all of your various Greeks on every trade. So I go through this process. Those are going to be uh, coming live throughout the next week uh, while I'm gone. So take a look at those. And again, like, subscribe, give me comments there as well. Take care, everyone, and um, we'll see you when I get back.